Hello everyone, my name is Izzedin Osman and this is AutoCAD 3D house modeling tutorial course. This professional training is open for beginners and zero knowledge users, so no experience is required. Imagine, you can upgrade your skills and career by mastering AutoCAD 3D latest techniques with only days of practice. With AutoCAD software, you can generate 2D plan drawings and 3D design fast and efficient. Convince your customers with better 2D and 3D visuals. Deliver your project outcomes with pure satisfaction. So I'm Mizuna Nosman with over 15 years experience of using AutoCAD and I will be your trainer in this training tutorial. So don't y'all worry now, this AutoCAD tutorial course is very practical and easy to follow. Y'all must just focus more to the command window panel located at the bottom part of the software. So keep your spirit up, be positive y'all, keep on smiling, just stay with me alright, yeah. So basically in this professional training tutorial course, you will build a modern 3D blue rooftop bungalow house using AutoCAD 2015. So what are the things included in this course? An ebook, which we're going to refer to during this drawing process, this HD high definition video tutorial with audio, the AutoCAD DWG file which contains this blue rooftop bungalow house organized into its own respective layers so you can definitely purchase and download this professional AutoCAD 3D house design training tutorial course at our official website www.iscat.com the link of the official website is in the description below so what's up so let's get started I'm just browsing through my ebook now so you can see this ebook has a lot of chapters so I try to keep it short and sweet um, in this ebook so it does give you all the plan drawing of the 3d house so now you can see the plan drawings with along with the dimensions you can see the step-by-step -step procedures of how to extrude a particular wall how to how to understand the UCS command the user coordinate system like chapter 9 how to subtract the walls with respect to its own dimensions okay so your people can see um, the dimensions of the window openings now so you can actually uh, refer to this ebook uh, during when you're trying out the this particular uh, tutorial or of the inclination angle and also for the taper angle so this ebook actually gives you step-by-step -step procedures on how to create the roof using the solid edit command okay this part is the octagon roof okay along with the dimensions and the parameters okay um, this is a snapshot of the step and other elements of its dimensions like the window frame the window glass and everything so you can just browse through um, this ebook and you can just refer to its dimension easier for you to draw actually rather than seeing the video uh, again and again rewind it you know and forward it and you have to pause it so at least uh, when you download this ebook uh, it gives you um, the information that you need so this is a snapshot images uh, which I rendered using 3d studio max v-ray so when you download this, you will um, get the AutoCAD PDF file, the AutoCAD DWG file, all right, along with the images rendered. Okay, so you can definitely purchase and download this per, uh, professional AutoCAD 3D house design training tutorial course at our official website, www.iscat.com. So as I said earlier, the link of the website is in the description below. So it is www.iscat.com Alright, so you can go to the website and just purchase and download this particular the whole training course Okay, with the ebook and the video tutorial in high definition format I, I might add 
so it's easy for you to learn and to browse through to analyze it so this particular exercise is open it's, it's open for uh, beginners to people who have not used this AutoCAD before okay uh, with zero knowledge and everything so let's get started in building this 3d house so first you got to specify your units so you just type in units and choose millimeter as your units that is your first step second you have to specify your limits your drawing area okay type 0 comma 0 and type 20,000 comma 20,000 as your maximum point then you just type Z enter and A enter to zoom everything to zoom all so I'm just going to, I'm just going to draw a line just uh, type L enter or click line Paula track the line and enter the measurement according to the plan drawing um, referring to the ebook so I'm drawing it now so this line is um, 5,000 all right this line going to the left is also 5,000 uh, actually I'm drawing for for the porch area for this 3d house going to the left polar track it to the left and type in 6,000 as its length object snap track this line and object snap track the other line the other point and complete the plan okay enclosing the loop so now I'm going to digital trace this particular line using boundary command so uh, you, the reason that I'm using boundary command is because I want to convert every line that I've drawn into polyline okay and after that I have to generate its surface uh, but I will copy this particular um, bounded polyline first to the left because I want to create the roof first and I will, I will perform region command on this particular polyline to generate its surface okay I'm gonna change my view to SE isometric view right I'm gonna extrude it now with the extrude command I will enter type T enter and type 50 degree as my taper angle type 3000 as my extrusion height so when I go to visual style conceptual I can see that um, my roof is is pretty okay but um, there are some portion is not extruded to the maximum inclination angle right so I will undo this first and um, I'm gonna offset it to 1000 in drawing the rooftop offset the particular bound boundary of polyline 1000 uh, I can't actually perform that in this particular polyline so I'm just gonna switch um, to to top view first okay and offset it again so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the left the left um, uh, plan and offset it in creating my wall go uh, going back to se isometric view I'm gonna region it now and extrude it and type uh, T enter for taper angle type 50 degree is my angle taper and 3000 is my extrusion height okay as you can see that um, there, there are there are faces that is not going to the maximum inclination angle all right so I have to solid edit this particular rooftop by using solid edit command type F enter for face type M enter for move select a particular face select one base point and an, a displacement point to extrude it uh, to extrude that face to the maximum inclination height okay so it didn't work so I will try it again okay sometimes you, you got to choose another point all right as your base point in order for this uh, particular face to be successfully extruded remember that this rooftop has an angle angle taper of 50 degree uh, just because that um, this rooftop 
inclination angle is 40 is um, the calculation is 90 minus 40 if you want to get the value for your taper angle so I will enter 50 just now I've entered 50 degree uh, as my taper angle is only because the roof inclination angle is 40 degree right so if you know the roof inclination angle you just uh, take 90 degree and minus that particular value you will get your angle taper and your angle taper is the value you should enter in uh, during solid edit command so I'm just gonna um, I'm, I'm gonna try to offset this polyline the boundary polyline in creating my wall structure so uh, I offset it to 200 mm and change it to SW isometric view okay I'm, I'm trying to go, uh, extrude this using the press pull command right in the latest AutoCAD software they have this this uh, wonderful press pull command which you can just extrude easy right with simplicity so I'll, I'm gonna type 4000 as my height I'm gonna change back uh, my visual style to um, conceptual to see the shaded view of the wall alright so I, I've got my wall already extruded 4 meter in height so I'm gonna change back my visual style to 2d waveframe go back to top view so everything looks okay I got my roof uh, ready with my wall structure so leaving uh, me um, so what I have to do right now is just to move the rooftop to its proper location right so I've select click move select the rooftop enter press enter and click on the base point and click on the displacement point like that and go back to conceptual to see the shaded view see whether everything is okay or not so I'm orbiting I'm 3d orbiting my 3d house by holding on my shift key and my scroll my mouse scroll and drag it so you can actually automatically um, 3d orbit your view by holding on your shift key from your keyboard and by dragging your scroll key from your mouse all right and you can just automatically 3d orbit your view okay without uh, clicking on the view cube all right without uh, using view cube so I'm gonna slice this part using slice command just type SL enter okay and slice this portion because I want to delete that particular wall for, for my porch area of course so I've sliced it using slice command you can just type SL enter to do that and click on the exist click on two points to define the exist of your slicing points right so I've sliced and deleted that and I'm gonna click on layer properties here to transfer to transfer my rooftop to its own layer alright so I can shut it off uh, for a while while doing other elements of my 3d house so I'm just gonna create a new layer I'm gonna name that new layer roof a and color the layer blue color click OK click close select the rooftop and uh, open up my layer select it and transfer it to roof a and click on the bulb click on the bulb on the layer properties to make it invisible for a while so it's there it's just that uh, I, I just make uh, make that invisible all right but it's still there all right so now uh, I have to add in okay um, a particular wall to join the the wall that I've sliced just now so I'm gonna go to top view all right I'm gonna click rectangle to define the area of the wall which is I'm just going to add in a new portion of the wall due to I've sliced that particular portion just now so I'm gonna uh, region it alright I'm gonna change my view to SW isometric view to my perspective view and type EXT enter to extrude it and enter 4000 as my um, extrusion height alright then I change back my um, visual style to conceptual 
Okay, now uh, I will join these walls by using union command. You can just type U and I enter, press enter, and just select whatever objects that you want to union. All right. So I just type U and I enter, select the objects, so that all the objects are united. All right. So the objects, the walls are now united, uh, union in becoming one. All right. Okay, so I'll just make the rooftop layer visible again. Okay, slightly orbit it to see whether uh, everything is okay or not. So everything is perfect. Everything is okay. I shut the roof A again. Shut, shut it off again. Okay, just change back to top view. Click SD SW asymmetric view and change my visual style to 2D wireframe so I will type box okay uh, I'm trying to create the window openings for my wall so I just type box and select the box right click properties key in the length 3000 as in um, the depth of that uh, box 1000 and the height is 1005 Okay, those are the properties of that box. So I'm, I'm going to copy several boxes. So I just mark reference line here. 200 mm. Type CO enter to copy this. Copy it to the other side. Okay, I need um, another reference line which is 1400 mm in measurement. So I just cl uh, click line or type L enter. Pull attracted type 1400. Okay, type CO enter for copy. Select both boxes, click one base point, click one um, point for your displacement. Okay, mark reference line as much as 2100 mm in its height. So uh, if you want to draw, if you want to uh, locate a particular window, it must be aligned to 2100 mm in height. Okay, go to conceptual visual style and subtract this.